in today's video, how I raise hogs on a small scale. Raising pigs on a small scale means a small barn, right? If I could do this all over again, I would make this barn bigger. When I built it, I built it 18 wide, 24 foot long. Since then, I've added on a 12 foot addition. We're gonna go on inside and I'll show you what I've done to it. So at first we were just raising a couple of pigs for ourselves, and this pen was big enough, eight foot by nine, and the barn ended right here. Well, as we decided to raise more pigs, we needed more room. So I added on this 12 foot addition, lean to style right on the edge of the existing barn. The lean to is 12 foot. So that gave me more room. I had three total pens then. I had this big one that was the original one, added on to 12 foot, which made it a bigger pen. And this pen, and finally this pen. When I did the lean to addition, I poured this concrete out here for really no other reason than just to scrape the manure onto a pad. Well, as things progress, then I decided to make a third addition by adding these steel pens. Second favorite farmer's dad, Glenn, made these four by four columns for me, four inch by four inch square tube, and then he welded the plate to the bottom, and then we anchored them to the concrete. My son welded all these panels together, angle iron frame, and then the hog panel mesh in the middle. Each of these gates swing out. All of these gates are capable of swinging in any direction. They're hinged and that way we can move them from pen to pen, either out here or also in the hallway there to bring them from the small pen to the middle pen to the finishing pen. After my son got the gates built, then my granddaughter painted them all bright red. I wanted blue, my wife wanted black, we settled on red. The first pen is where we will get our pigs when they're, let's say 40 pounds. They'll go in here. We'll put 18% feed ration in the rotary feeder. From that point, as they grow, then they're gonna get moved in this middle pen. And then the new group of little ones will go back into the first pen. From the middle pen, when they get bigger, they're going to go into the big pen. Now, we had put these stainless steel, the stainless steel feeder in. I bought two, but I only used one. Uh, we put those in last winter uh, in another video. And also added these cup waters. So when they're ready to go to the slaughterhouse, Pull back up the trailer, swing the gate, load the pigs up, and away they go to the slaughterhouse and then to the customer. Like I said at the beginning of this video, you ever build something you wish you would have built bigger? That's the case in this barn. 
We've added on, we've made do with what we had. However, if I could do it all over again, I would have done it differently. But you learn from your mistakes, right? So this is gonna do for now. If I expand the next time, there's a spot right across the driveway where we will be putting up a new barn if I live long enough and I still enjoy what I do. I wanna thank you for watching. I wanna thank you for subscribing to my channel. And until the next time, Take care and God bless.